What's up everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J and today I wanted to do a get ready with me trying some new products. Now some of these products are new new to the channel and some of the products are still new but I have already tried them here. The products that I'm going to show are not the only products that I'm going to be using in this video but these are the focal point of this video. In no particular order, let me share with you guys what I'm going to be using for this video. The first thing that I am trying is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I got the largest size. This one retails for $30. They do have a smaller size that retails for $15. This one has 1.52 ounces of product in it, and this one is like a jelly type product. The description of this product says that it is a hydrating makeup gripping primer formulated with hemp derived cannabis seed extract and blue agave extracts for all day hydration and hold. It also says that this primer has aloe water, cherry blossom, hyaluronic acid and B vitamins to support skin for a healthier looking base and provide a glassy post hot yoga class glow. They are being so extra. <laughs> Next I am revisiting a product. This is the Natasha Denona Biba palette. As you guys know I already did a full blown review on this palette as well as a few different looks in that video. So if you have not seen that make sure you go check that out. But it is still a new palette and I wanted to pull it out and use it again in this video. Beautiful palette retails for $129. It's a new neutral eyeshadow palette with a mix of cool and warm tones as well as shimmers and mattes. Next I am trying out the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer and Touch Up Stick. I have the color Medium 33 and Marc Jacobs is bringing back stick concealers. It has been such a long time since I've tried a stick concealer. This one retails for $32 and you can just roll it up and roll it down. Here's what it looks like. Very small. It almost looks like a lipstick bullet. This concealer contains 0.17 ounces of products and the description claims to be a long wearing creamy concealer and touch up stick perfect for on the go in a range of 17 concealer shades. They say that it layers beautifully under or over makeup blurring the look of pores, fine lines and imperfections while hiding dark circles, blemishes and uneven skin tone. But it has hydrogenated polyticine in it and it says that this is a non sticky emollient that creates a smooth and silky feeling on the skin. And they say that they use that ingredient in a lot of skincare because it helps the product spread out. Next I am trying out the new and improved Natasha Denona Foundation X Plus. When she came out with the initial Foundation X, I did a review on that. That was about two or three years ago at this point. So that foundation has been discontinued and this one is the revised model of that. So this go around, I picked a different color. I have the color 60YW. I was kind of going back and forth between a few different colors, but I'm glad I settled on this one because as you guys can see, you know I have it on now. I feel like it matches pretty well. This foundation retails for $45 and it has one fluid ounce of products. This foundation claims to be full coverage, a natural finish, and suitable for normal dry combination and oily skin types. Some of the highlighted ingredients are grapefruit extracts, which naturally supports skin longevity, as well as pomegranate extracts, which is rich in antioxidants and vitamin C and diminishes visible signs of aging. Interesting, it also says that this foundation is formulated with special ingredients that help to balance out the T-zone area and absorb excess oils on the skin. Next, I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This is formulated with 84% watermelon extract, which is a high percentage. As you guys can see, it separates. So you can kind of see that it's a lightish pink and then it looks like a gradient to go up to a darker pink color. So I just shake it up and spray it. It also says that this mist contains hyaluronic acid and hibiscus flower, which is my favorite flower. I actually have hibiscus flowers tattooed on my back. It says that the hibiscus flower gently smooths the look of texture, softens and hydrates skin for optimal makeup application. This mist also has apple cider vinegar in it, which is supposed to curb your oil production. So that's really cool as well. So the last things that I am trying out in this video are a Laura Mercier blush. And this is a blush color infusion by her and I have the color Rose. And I have a new Laura Mercier lipstick and I believe this one is called, you know what, I'm just gonna insert the name, I'm not. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into it that way you guys can see how these products perform and then I'm going to conduct an eight hour wear test where I am going to check in every two hours and let you guys see the progress of the products. You can follow me around today because when I do my check ins I am most definitely going to be out in the streets so you guys will be able to see what it looks like in real life so I will check you guys shortly. So I am first going to start out with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I didn't know this had cannabis in it. So now's my chance to try it and see if I like it. I'm just gonna go in with one 
little pump. And I'm just going to smooth that here and then blend it over. And blend some on my nose. I will tell you what, if it doesn't do anything else, it feels nice. It does feel hydrating. It's very sticky. So I'll see how I like it with this foundation. Let's move on to our foundation. I hope I have the right color. This is a pretty liquidy foundation, but good thing that it comes with a pump. And I'm going to go in with three, four. Four squirts on the back of my sponge and bounce that all over. This is a pretty decent match of foundation. It's a little bit darker than my face, but it matches the rest of my body. So I'm not mad at it. Right now my face is like super pale. So this is about five pumps of this foundation all over. The pumps are smaller. So I would say if it were full pumps, I used probably about three. So this is the amount of coverage that I got from those pumps of foundation. I do still see imperfections on my skin. I don't want to mask my face. However, I do wish that it were a little bit more full coverage, but it's definitely a light buildable foundation. So you can make it to about a medium amount of coverage I feel like I'm evened out for the most part but I'm not flawless so hopefully my concealer can pick up the slack where my foundation did not cover today I'm using the new Marc Jacobs accomplice concealer I have the color medium 33 and I don't think I mentioned my color of the foundation which is 60 YW which is warm yellow medium I just want you guys to see the concealer with it being brand new I'm just gonna go straight in with it and do a few swipes one, two, three. So as you all can see, this concealer is lighter than my complexion, which is fine. Because it'll kind of offset the darkness of the foundation, which is kind of starting to oxidize. And then I'm going to put a little here in the middle. I can already tell you that this concealer is very creamy. From the stick, it just glides on the face. It doesn't really tug at all. So I'm going to blend it out with my sponge, which is dampened, but it's not soaking wet as to not pick up too much of the product. Sometimes with cream products like this, I prefer a brush because if it's too thick and dry, then it'll pick up the products underneath. But if it's creamier, it'll blend out nice with the sponge or brush. I'm gonna go back on the side with the excess foundation just to even up that color, just because I feel like it's a little bit too light for my chin area. And then I'm going to go in and blend it out underneath my eyes and see the amount of coverage that I'm able to get. So it's blending out nicely under my eyes. It's giving a medium amount of coverage. It definitely concealed. I think it looks okay. I think this color may be a little bit too neutral tan and it's making me look a bit flat. I think this needs a little bit more gold into it. It blends out easily and again, it's not tugging. It has more slip to it than even a lot of liquid concealers. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the color. The formula feels nice though. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more right in here. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this out with the brush and not the sponge to keep the coverage. I'm just patting it on with this brush. So now I'm gonna set my face with some familiar powders just because I don't wanna use everything new. So for my under eye, I'm just going to set with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just press this in. And this is a very creamy concealer, so I would highly recommend you setting it so it doesn't crease all day. And now I'm going to set my entire face with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. This is a Hakuhoto S104 brush. So I'm going to give my skin a second to rest before I do bronzer and blush and highlight and all that stuff. And I'm going to move on and do my eyes. For today, I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Biba Palette. So I want my eye look today to be somewhat simple. So I'm going to take a Smith 232 brush in the color Freckle. Make sure to tap off that brush. And I am going to apply this in my crease, so back and forth, and just really diffuse this color. So back and forth and build this color up. Very nice. Next, using a more taper blending brush, I'm going to pick up the color Seed with a MAC 221 brush. Tap off that brush, even though this palette doesn't really have that much fallout. And I am going to apply this right on the very outer corner and then blend it over. 
something very simple. Really go back and forth to diffuse that brown. So now I'm going to take a flat shader brush. This is a Chica Hodo GSN 9 in the color Shine. And I am just going to lightly fluff this all across the lid and then bring it up towards the crease. Make sure to blend it with this outer corner color. And I just want this to be like a light dusting of this color. I don't want it to be just super concentrated or anything like that. I just want it to be just super simple and easy. So I'm just fluffing this all over the lid and then making sure that it's blended. So now I'm gonna go in with a detailer brush. This is a Royal and Langnickel BOM50 brush in the color Monroe. I am going to lightly apply this on my inner corner for a little pop and I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on the lower inner corner as well and then on the rest of the lower lash line I'm just gonna go in with the color freckle all across the bottom so I'm just gonna carefully drag this so because I know I'm going to use a mist I'm not gonna put on my mascara and lashes right now instead I'm gonna come back to the face I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the hula with the Royal and Lang nickel BLM 35 brush I just want to be like lightly chiseled <laughs> lightly bronze so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this give myself a little bit of my color back So now I'm going to go in with a Laura Mercier blush. This is called the Blush Color Infusion, and I have the color Rose. Let's try it out. Rose, eh? Building it up, trying to get that color there. Okay, there we go. This feels like a traditional powder type formula. Now I'm going to dip back into this Benefit palette and take just a little bit of this color cookie. And I do mean just a little, just because I don't want a whole lot of highlight today. And I'm just going to pop this right here just for a little bit of that glow. And then bring it around town. This is a Kylie number 15 brush. Just a little bit will do for me. Thank you. Now I'm going to use my spray. I've used it a few times. So I'm just going to shake it up. Make sure those ingredients are well incorporated. Let's miss. I feel like my skin is super dry. The mist on this is so fine. It's like, is it touching my face? It's like little angel kisses. <laughs> that gave a really nice glow because I felt like I needed that because my skin looked a little dry. Smells like watermelon. I think I'll like this too if I put it in the refrigerator. And it's cool and I think I'll really, really like this for summer. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my liner and lashes. I'll be right back and then we can do the lips together. This stuff separated really, really fast. I feel like this gave a very beautiful glow and I feel like it's single-handedly saved my complexion because otherwise I felt like I looked very dry and I think it looks really pretty and glowy now. Now for lips I'm going to apply another Laura Mercier product. This is called the Rouge Essential Silky Cream Lipstick and you guys know who my French is a struggle. New Prefere. Prefere. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this. I like the bullet. I like anything that's magnetized. Like, that always is a winner to me. All right. This lipstick is very sheer. I think that this color really brightens up my complexion. However, I want to darken it back up just a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the matte gloss in the color Dangerous Curves. I like that the melon is peeking through. I just don't want that bright of a lip on. So now this is the finished look. Now what I'm going to do is wear this around for the next eight hours. I will try to do check-ins every two hours. Actually, I'm going to do check-ins every two hours. And to hold myself accountable, I am going to set alarms to remind me to do so. Because, honey, I will forget. Right now it is 214 p.m. I have those alarms set. I will check in every two hours and let you guys see the progress of the makeup. I will check back in in a few. Enjoy and stay tuned. All right, so I am here with my two hour check in. I am standing outside of Joann's where I come all the time and I thought this would be a really cute little background. But let's not focus on that. Let's talk about my makeup. I think that everything still looks good. I definitely am getting a little bit dewier than I normally do at the two hour mark. I think that everything still looks pretty. I just am interested to see how it's going to look going forward because we're only two hours in. So concealer still has increased, foundation still is on, eyeshadow still is beautiful, lips are gone. I ate Chick-fil-A, so hey, what can I say? I feel like I always eat Chick-fil-A especially when I do my check-ins y'all are probably like 
You are the Chick-fil-A girl. But anyways, I'll check back in in two more hours and let you guys see the other. So I'm back from my fourth hour check-in and I think that everything looks relatively good. I think that my foundation looks a little bit dewier than I typically like for it to. But I'm not mad at it. It just is super glowy and I noticed that two hours ago. And my under eye still has increased. My eyeshadow still is pretty. Blush is still pretty. I had to reapply my lips. But other than that, I'm still overall satisfied with how my makeup looks right now. So I will check you all in two more hours. I am back with my six hour check in and I gotta talk fast because I'm in Nordstrom Rack in the Jeezy section and it's music playing. But I think that my foundation is kind of melting off of my face a little bit. Like it's kind of moved around in certain spots and I don't have coverage, like especially on the sides of my nose and like certain areas in my face. Like I've kind of rubbed it in to like kind of cover up any spots that I may see. You know the feeling of where the foundation is kind of just sitting on the skin and you just want to scratch it and get it off of there? Yeah, that's how I feel right now. But I'm about to go eat some pizza, take it in for the night, and I will check you guys back in two hours and that will be my final check-in so i am back for my eight hour check-in it has been a very long and fun day but i'm ready to give you guys my final thoughts on these products let's start out with the laura mercier blush i think it's nice i think the color is nice it's a traditional powder blush formula i had to build it up quite a bit to get it to show up but it wore well it's still on my cheeks and it's still even overall I'm gonna give it a decent score the Natasha Donata Biva palette amazing palette very beautiful the looks you can do with it they're gonna be neutral but yet they're gonna be beautiful at the same time it's not a boring palette if you like these type colors then the formulation of this palette is beautiful my lip products nice colors throughout the day I did not continue to reapply this lipstick just because I didn't want to do the extra step this lipstick is a little bit light again this was sent to me by influencer so i just wanted to test it out but these colors are too light i didn't personally select these that lip gloss is something that i picked out and i really like that one i think it is going to live in my purse just because it's a color that i wear all the time now let's talk about these complexion products starting with the primer so the milk hydro grip primer i like the way it feels it feels very cooling it does give you that sticky feel and i feel like it definitely preps the skin for the foundation and I feel like it just gives me another layer in between my skin and the foundation which sometimes is necessary. I don't feel like it helped the foundation extend the longevity of the wear just because I feel like this foundation really started breaking down at the two hour point. I feel like this foundation is not that long wearing. It is very liquidy as you guys can hear and foundations like this are either going to be very beautiful on my skin or either they're going to turn out like this and this one turned out to be one of the ones that really move around i have combination skin so i really don't like the formulation on me my boyfriend commented several times throughout the day that certain spots of my foundation were missing so i had to just kind of you know rub it in especially around my nose area down here it kind of disappeared and it moves around a lot even with me setting it so i am not the biggest fan of this one as far far as the concealer I'm kind of 50 50 with the concealer so I feel like if you have a nice color then you may like it especially on the face as a spot concealer as it says but underneath the eyes I feel like it is a little bit too thick and creamy and it did crease very slightly right in here and it doesn't look bad from far away but when you come in close you see the details you see the creasing my concealer I'm not the biggest fan of the color just because I feel like it was just too neutral I'm not saying this concealer is a bad concealer. I'm just saying I don't really like it for underneath my eyes. It is creamy. It is highly blendable. However, that could work to its disadvantage under the eyes because it's creamy, because it's blendable. It's going to crease. I'm not here nor there for it. And lastly, this glow recipe. I really like this. I've tried this several times. Now, if you spray too much, it can get too glowy. The foundation that I wore today was very dry, as you guys can see before I sprayed this. So when a foundation is is way too dry all my skin is going to do is be like girl please and over combat and try to produce more oil because it's like okay like I can't to breathe I don't think this foundation and this spray is the best combination however I really do like this spray to wear with my regular foundations I have tried it before I don't feel like it broke down the products it didn't decrease the wear time it just gave a nice mist but for me I just have to be cognizant of how much I spray just because I know that this is a glowy mist and while it may seem like it's not doing anything trust me 
it is i also am going to be doing a video on glow mist very soon so stay tuned for that one as well that's everything let me know what you all think about the products that i tried out down in the comment section do you plan on trying out any of these products let me know your thoughts and i will talk to you all in my very next video i'm about to go wash my face and cuddle up on the couch and watch a movie so i will talk to you all later smooches bye